everybody, my name is Marcos with uh, Jalders Diagnostics and I would like to show you what is the PTO, where we can find it, why it is important to set it up correctly and how we can do it in an easy way thanks to Jalders Diagnostics. So first of all, uh, what is the PTO? Well, the PTO stands for Power Takeoff and it is a device uh, that basically transfers or diverts power from the engine of the vehicle to an attachment an outboard implement, a pump, a trailer, or even to a separate machine. In other words, with a power hookup, it is possible to power many different things. When engaging the PTO, the truck's engine idle will increase as power is transferred where it is required. They have been commonly used in the agricultural industry as tractors need to somehow power the different attachments they wore, like spreaders, cutting blades, and so on. However, they are also very used on trucks for different purposes or applications and they could go either in the front or in the back. For example, now that we are in the winter season, I am pretty sure that you will have seen many trucks around operating snow plows and removing the snow of the streets. So in order to ensure an efficient performance of these snow plows, it will be very important to have the PTO controls correctly set up. Also on trucks, PTOs are commonly used to raise a dump truck trailer or body, to power a garbage compactor, to operate a personal bucket on a knuckle boom crane to inspect a power line, or to operate an auger on the end of a truck loader crane, like many purposes. The way in which the PTO is going to be set up will depend on the attachment and its application. It is not the same to set up the PTO for a crane than for a snowplow or any other application. With Jaltes, we are going to be able to set up our PTO controls for both engine and transmission, and of course for the different manufacturers, Navistar, Cummins, Volvo, Allison Transmissions, and so on. So let's move now into the software so that we can take a look at this bidirectional control and see how easily we could set up some of the most important PTO controls according to our needs and or the manufacturer's specifications. So for example, let's imagine that we're working on an Avistar M13 SCR engine and we want to adjust the PTO parameter. Okay, so first of all, we'll go to uh, parameters and then we'll go to uh, power takeoff uh, controls. Uh, here's where we're gonna be able to modify these uh, values. So here, Jaltes is gonna ask for the expert mode code as we're gonna be changing the behavior of the electronic control unit. We will introduce it, accept, and first of all, we have some important notes that we need to keep in mind uh, whenever performing this action, all right? And then, and the second step, we're gonna find our initial conditions that uh, need to be fulfilled before starting the action. Okay, once we have both of them uh, fulfilled, we can continue. In this case, the engine should be turned off and the parking brake activated, all right? Let's say that we have both of them, and then immediately we uh, can start the action. We can uh, start adjusting the parameters in the PTO. we can see the power takeoff control here basically uh, we can set the way in which the PTO is controlled in our vehicle with switches in the cabin remotely or even with a combination of both what else uh, the maximum and minimum RPM of the PTO obviously here the, the values will vary depending on the type of application or use we won't need the same RPM for throwing salt to the road than, for example, in a concrete mixer. Therefore, we will need to adjust these values to our needs. Whenever we get out of these values, the PTO will automatically be disabled. Also, we can set the revolution increment in the switches. And this is important because we can set the amount of RPM that is going to be increased or decreased the RPMs whenever we manually press the plus or minus switches while using our PTO. The maximum load. This parameter is also very important because we could define how much power from the total possible that our engine is capable of we want to transfer or divert to the PTO. Again, this percentage will depend on the type of user or application. For example, for a concrete mixer, 
that is working in the same place with the vehicle stopped, we could dedicate a higher percentage than, for example, in a vehicle that has to be moving and at the same time using the attachment, like in the snow blows. Also, we have predefined values, also called memories. Depending on the manufacturer that had installed the PTO in our vehicle, we could have a different number of switches in the vehicle, like two, three, or even more, up to six maybe. Basically here, we can set up the RPM values we want the PTO to be working. At any time, we press any of these switches, like set, resume, three, four, and so on. It is kind of the same that to establish predefined uh, radio stations in our car. Important to mention here that if you are not sure about the meaning of uh, the parameter that you are about to change, you can always click on the question mark here on the right and access to its description and therefore be sure about what we are doing. So let's switch now into Cummins and see some more examples. For example, I'm going to pick the ISX 11.9 15 CM2350 and we are going to see that the setting possibilities on this manufacturer for the PTOs are also huge. So in order to do that, uh, first of all I'm gonna disconnect from the Navistar engine, then we'll go to the main screen in Yaltes, click on manufacturers, pick our make, Cummins, and then select the family, in this case ISX, alright, and finally the engine model we want to work to. In this case, this one. Then we will connect, we will select the connection type and we'll access to the engine menu. Uh, the PTO parameters uh, are gonna be here on this menu on parameters. Also you can use the search bars that are on the top to have shortcuts to the action. Uh, basically it's here, power takeoff, and if you click here on the plus button you will see that you have power takeoff control and auxiliary uh, takeoff control. Alright, so this is important to make uh, the difference because um, the auxiliary power takeoff um, is gonna refer to the external controller that is located next to a uh, device, to the PTO device, okay? So in this case it's gonna be uh, remotely uh, controlled, okay? so different ways, like different parameters to adjust depending on the way that we have the setup of our PTO in our vehicle. Okay, so uh, the main ones are going to be right here on the PTO control, but uh, just for you to know that you have both options. All right. As you can see, if in Navistar we had the description of the different parameters in the question mark, here in Cummins we could find them whenever we enter in the action. Some interesting parameters here to be mentioned are the status of the PTO that we can put on and off, also the maximum vehicle speed of the vehicle whenever the PTO is active or working, the maximum load admitted by the PTO. If you remember, in Navistar it came in percentage, but Cummins define it by foot pounds. The maximum and minimum RPM that we have already seen in the Navistar engine, and also the predefined values for the different switches, and so on. Other than these ones, that probably are the most important ones, there are many more advanced parameters that could be set up, for example the controls of the PTO with the pedals. So related to the PTO, it is also important to mention that whenever we perform a DPF regeneration, the PTO controls has to be disabled so that we don't take any power from the engine at that moment. So last but not least, Jaltest provides repair times for the replacement of the power takeoff and its parts for the different manufacturers. If we click on the repair times and search by keyword, let's say power, immediately we find the actions related to the power takeoff. We can see how much time we need to perform these replacements and we can even add some notes here if we wish to. And with this, we have come to the end of the vlog. As you can see, working with the right PTO control setup is key for an efficient and correct performance. That is something that you could easily carry out with Yaltes Diagnostics, and regardless of the manufacturer of your vehicle or your system. I hope that you have enjoyed, and if you did, just give us a thumbs up, and if you have any questions or comments, just do it here below. Thank you guys, and hope to see you soon in more Yaltes vlogs. Bye bye.